Okay, hi uh, guys, this is my new video. So, I've been online a lot the last few weeks and something I've been seeing a lot of are unboxing videos and I really like them. Uh, they're fascinating to me. Anyway, so I thought I'd do my own one and I needed a new mask, a gas mask and uh, the government issue ones are a bit shite. So I was, did a bit of research and found the specifications that I like and I ordered one of my own and I found this perfect little mask that uh, has everything that I want and uh, I got it ordered and here it is, it just arrived. Here it is, this is the box. So I'm super excited to show it to you guys. Uh, so here it is, um, just let's get in. Let's get in and uh, open the box. All right, so first off, this is the box. Uh, it looks to me like uh, B flute, single wall, corrugated cardboard construction in weathered saddle brown, I'd guess. And let's have a look at the dimensions. It is about 14 and a half inches long by eight and a half inches wide and uh, seven and a half inches deep or tall. So beautiful little box that came in there. Uh, got some writing on it, a little barcode there, and some lovely black tape. Okay, so uh, pretty sexy box, I think you'll agree. So yeah, um, apologies for the noise outside. It's just uh, how it is when you live in a war zone. Oh, little too much information there. Anyway, uh, okay, so uh, got me a little Stanley knife, a box cutter. How do we do this? Good. <clears throat> Let's go down here as well. Great job packing. I'll uh, compliment the guys who sent me this. All ladies. Okay. Guys isn't gender specific, is it? Uh, don't think it is. Anyway, when I say hello guys, all right guys, at the beginning I mean guys and girls. You know, whole, anyway. Final side. Oh. Okay, that's the difficult bit. Safety at all times, guys. Withdraw the blade back into the shaft okay for safety whoops right let's have a look nice bit of paper you can see there and uh, it's uh, I don't know what color that is beige uh, it's a very nice weight paper anyway uh, so I'm thinking the gas mask is going to be straight under this first layer so let's let's dive in. Okay, one layer down. Uh, as you can see, there's no gas mask immediately visible, so it must be deeper in the box. So let's go another layer down. Okay, still no gas mask visible. You can see a little bit of brown, a uh, little bit of green even. I don't know what that is. That's interesting. Uh, we'll dig deeper. There's another layer. Throw that on the floor. And as you can see, the gas mask is uh, quite deep in this box. So I'm hoping it wasn't damaged in the bottom. So uh, yeah, here we go. Let's try another layer. And still no mask. Uh, okay, that's a little uh, worrying. I've just got an empty box on it. Anyway, let's try again. Another layer. Still no mask. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Another layer. Still no mask. Right, this is getting a little uh, embarrassing now. We've got a deeper, deeper brown paper now. This is your classic brown paper wrapping. And uh, 
good quality, good thickness, lots of protection there. Oh, ah, hang on a minute. What's this? What the fuck? Oh, come on. What? Oh, no. Can you see that? Look at the fucking size of it! Fits on my thumb. Well, in the midst of a gas attack, at least my thumb will be protected. Oh, shit. That's never gonna fit. Okay guys, well, I'll be back with another video when I get my actual gas mask. Uh, but in the meantime, um, 